He looked like little brother grown up here. Oh. Kill him. Kill him. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, no. That's me, Kane McGee, watching my whole life flash before my eyes as I stare down the barrel of a pistol. And why? I'll tell you why. It's because of oh. him, my big brother, Jake. I see you got little brother still cleaning up your mess. Me? Nigga, please, what you talking about? Me? I ain't the one pointing the gun in your face. But you know what? I'm gonna tell you who's to blame for all this, and guess what? It's not me. Get your money right now. Just what you need, just what you need. I got what you want. Put your money down, brother. I'm gonna make you all rich. That's right. Trust me, my friend. You're gonna be rich. You're gonna be happy you did this. That's right, that's right. What you gonna do for this? You know my brother. And I know he watches over me. I sing because I'm happy. Yes, 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 I am. Oh, I sing because I. I, I, I He watches me. That shit is terrible. I'll cut your oxygen off, you old senile bastard. Hey, hold on, man. You can't talk to my uncle that way, man. Hold on, baby. What's wrong with you? Give me my twenty-five dollars and I'm out. What? No, 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 no. How you gonna pay him to mess up your mama's favorite song, nephew? <coughs> uh, if you folks don't mind, that's gonna conclude our home going services. Uh, ribs ain't gonna cook themselves, you know. So I sing because I'm happy. And I sing. Rip King. Yes, sir. I thought I recognized you, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Rip down there, boy. Yes, sir. Smoke it down there. Your red tips are so delicious. Why, thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, y'all make sure to stop by the restaurant this afternoon for the repass. I'll give you the dilly departed discount. All right, man. You folks be blessed. I love his rib. Yeah, the like Memphis barbecue. Mm. Got a nice little tang, nice little kick to him. Yeah. Just right. Like you it. too, mine. I'm sorry, hey, baby. Hey, nephew, don't get mad at us. You the one hired that fake Kirk Franklin and sweet baby Ray's for your mama's funeral. Look, it was a rough side of the mountain package, unk. There was a hitch with her insurance, so I had to come out of pocket. Yeah, my sister still deserved better. Uh, uh, sweetie, can you roll me to the carpet? Don't worry, baby. Did the best you could. <sighs> all right, come on, Unc. Thank you. you know, I don't understand why you chose me of all people to push you out of here. Uh, 
I should have let that singer kick his ass. Hey, what's with the suitcase, T? There's no easy way to say this. I'm leaving you. On the worst day of my life? This is the day you choose to leave, T? <sighs> We've grown apart these past several months. I didn't want to do this then with your mom sick and all. Look, mama, look, 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 mama is gone. Mama's gone. You don't have to make the decision, okay, baby? You don't have to make any decision. I'm sorry. It's too late. I've already found someone. Sorry, I gotta go. T, T, just talk. Give, give me a second, please. Tiana, hold on. T, we, you don't have to do this. Oh, him, this nigga? Oh, I'm sorry. You got to be kidding me. Tiana! You leave that if I have to And I know. And you gonna leave me for this off tune, Frank Ocean sound of my buddy? Tiana, man. Tiana. Oh, yes, he do. Tiana, baby, you don't have to do this, man. We can sit and you come. Tiana, come back in the house so we can talk about this. Bye, nigga. Chance has some milk to go with this. This cake is drier than a 90 year old woman. I can't believe you couldn't pay your respects to mom after all she did for you. Man, I'm sorry, okay? I'm out here making moves, man. I'm out here making big moves all the way around the world, man. Oh, oh yeah. I see you dressed apart, too. What the hell? Look, man. I'm here now, okay? I'm here now. You know, whatever, man. Why are you here now? Huh? What you gonna help me fold mama's clothes? You gonna help me pack up all her stuff? No, you're not. Because the only person that you ever helped was yourself, and you ain't did nothing for mama. But I know why you're here. You're here for the reading of the will. Oh, yeah, big bro. Made it just in time. Man, no the hell I'm not. I'm yeah. here because of you. I'm here worried about you thinking, I hope he's straight. So I'm here to make sure you're straight. That's why I'm here. But, I mean, since you brought it up, I mean, when is the reading of the will? Okay, too soon. Hey, you know what? Hey, look. Hey, look at that picture, man. You still messing with old Tiny Titty Tiana? No. And don't try to change the subject, neither. Man, what the hell do you want from me? I mean, I, I, I can't bring her back. I cannot bring her back, and I can't go back in time and be that big brother that you want me to be. But damn it, I'm here now. For how long, Jacob? You know what? You know, come on. Come on, come on bring no, me. No, man, go on with all that. Because you wrong, man. And you know you wrong. And you know you still love me. Let me ask you something, big bro. What good does that do loving somebody who only loves they self? Why you always act like you on your damn period? You know what? I, I can't even do this with you, man. I'm going to bed. But do me a favor. When you leave again, lock the door on your way out. Welcome home, sleeping beauty. One of you punks is Jacob. Oh, he is? Wait, he's Jacob. I mean, but why, why are we here? Does the name Arlene Carter ring a bell? Uh, she's not pregnant, is she? She's my daughter. Oh, well, no, no, I don't know no, no Arlene. You know Arlene? I ain't no. never met Arlene in my life. Where's my $75,000? 75? It was 50,000. You just said you didn't know her. Oh, you said Arlene. I thought you said Marlene. Okay, I definitely know Arlene. Good, good, positive, good, good, good Christian girl. You know, Capricorn. Uh, she's 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 a virgin. I uh, heard too. I hope so. I'd have kill you right now for taking advantage of my baby girl. Miss Baker, it's not not like that at all. But 
basically that mall development deal that we're working on is still- Kill the chatter, punk. There ain't no strip mall development. Wait, 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 wait. We'll pay you tomorrow. Look, the reading of her mother's will is tomorrow morning. If you just give us enough time, her lawyers are there. They'll have the check prepared for us. That's what I was going to we'll do. have your money. That's what I was going to do. That's why I was coming here. I was going to come here. I was going to deliver my, the money in person to you. That way, you didn't have to leave the sanctity of your, your dildo dynasty here. I was going to do you that for you. You better not be shitting me. No, no, never that. Sit him down. We're going to carry you down to that lawyer's office in the morning. What about him? Oh my damn. May I have some more, Big Daddy? That wasn't supposed to turn your freakish ass on. Let me tell you something. The next time I catch you beating your meat in my establishment, I'ma shove a rabbit gerbil up your ass and sew it shut. Really? I love those furry critters. Get this pervert out of here. You promised me a gerbil! I'm gonna see you both in the morning. Lock the door, baby. Now, what have you gotten yourself into now, Jacob? What the hell are you talking about? These are business associates, Marty. And you got your brother mixed up in this mess. Oh, damn it, Marty, if you don't just get to the part about the checks, please. Well, you know, your mother's will clearly oh said. Can we just get the checks, please? Thank you. OK. Thank you so much. No, I'm going to tell you something else. I appreciate y'all bringing your big ass in my house. Waking me up, OK? Let that shit happen again. Next Christmas, you'll be wishing Jesus happy birthday in person. You hear me? That's it. Thank you, Marty. Got the damn time. Got me. Holy shit. Damn. Um. $2,000 here a piece. What? Uh, uh, this got to be a mistake, Marty. I mean, what does... No, 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 it's not, it's not a mistake, it's not a mistake. See, <laughs> see, no, no, it's not. See, these are the little checks, these little itty bitty checks. This ain't what we want. See, Marty, these are the sprinkles. We don't need a sprinkle. I need a whole damn cake. Uh, Mama had a great retirement fund, plus the investments our pops left her. So, where's the rest of the money? That's what I'm trying to explain to you. She went broke. Bailing out all his failed business ventures. What the hell? What failed business ventures? Those are all legit. Did, did you forget about the mannequins with the oversized derrieres? Oh, like fat ass farm wouldn't have worked. It would have worked. Think about it, these sisters need to know what their big ass is gonna look like in those pants. You can't forget the autism strip tease, the charity for Down syndrome exotic dancers. Oh, now you gonna turn me too, huh? You wasn't saying that when old Down Soon of Debbie was bouncing up and down your raggedy ass lap. Uh, that, that was for a good cause, though. That was for a good cause. <laughs> Still, we gentlemen. What? That's no, an old no, dirt man. No, 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 Wait, 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 no wait, wait. Do, do I need to call the authorities? That you... won't be necessary. You heard the gentleman. We're business associates. Can't let it sit. Oh, oh, shit! Oh, down go Frazier! Uh, hey, let's get these fools out here. Hey, wait, 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 wait! Don't talk about it! We got, we got jewelry! Prices jury. Um, there was my, there was jury that my mom had when, 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 when she passed. You talking about that old Walmart shit she had? No, I'm talking about the priceless ass jury she had. That's right. How could I forget such? I don't know how you could have forgotten about your, that priceless jury. Your mother doesn't have any priceless jury. Don't sit your black ass down. Hey, what are you doing? I figured it out. Marty's in on it. That's, that's, he, he, he took our money, he took the money mom left us, and now his backwards ass is trying to get his hands on mama's priceless jewelry. Tell me more about this jewelry. Where is this jewelry? You know, I'm glad you asked that question. The price jewelry is, um, at the funeral home. The funeral home, that's where it's at. Yes, because it would make no sense in burying her in the jewelry. In fact, the funeral director called us last night and said, hey, I'll bring it to y'all. And we said, no, 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 no. Even with the price of gas being so high and being such an ungodly hour, we said, you know what? How about we'll just come to you in the morning and, and we'll pick it up and take it off your hands. Exactly. You got one more damn time. Man. Oh, I'm tired of kissing. 
Excuse me, sir. Somebody will be with you in a moment. Okay, thank you. Good morning. How can I help you today? I sure hope you can. Um, is Mr. Brown here? No, I'm afraid he isn't. Oh my God. He told me he was gonna be here. That's impossible. <laughs> Mr. Brown is dead. Oh, well that's a horse of a different color. Um, when did this happen? Summer of 93. 93, well, looks like I'm a tidbit late. Um, well, the reason I'm asking is because, really? Dude, come on. You ain't gonna sit there and look like that. I mean, I'm not going anywhere. I can't go anywhere. Look. All right? Have a seat. Thank you. Sitting there looking all unattractive. Look. You see that guy back there? He's a bounty hunter. And I'm on my way to prison, okay? I'm on my way to prison for helping kids who are caught up in the illegal slave trade. And I have to help those poor little bastards. I mean, I mean, babies, even if it costs me my own freedom. What an awful man. Yes, he's an awful jackass. But that awful jackass is allowing me to at least say my last farewells to my dear sweet aunt, Eva, and but her funeral's not till five, and it would just be a big weight off my shoulders if I could just say my goodbyes now. Well, that is against our policy, unless your immediate family. But I guess I can make an exception for a hero. Stop it. Yeah. Hey, you have a seat. This is immediate family only. Yeah. You know, I can't believe she's gone. She was so young. She was 97. <laughs> yeah, but see, 97 is really young in my family. See, my grandmother, you know, they took her out of the nursing home and put her in a museum. She's pretty old. But we last a while. And I <laughs> I just can't bear the thought of it. This is your aunt? Yeah, it's my aunt. Oh, damn. Um, yeah, damn, damn it. She's so peaceful. Look at her. She looks like she's asleep. <laughs> I was adopted. And, and she, they found me on her sister's doorstep. And Aunt Eva used to call me her sweet baby Moses. She knew that one day I was going to... Free her people. That's why I had to jump at the chance to help those kids in that, that little sweatshop. And <sighs> sleep in peace, I Eva. Your baby Moses is here. <laughs> I can't do it. Can I trouble you for a glass of water, please? Sure, I'll, I'll leave you two alone. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sir, can you... Sir? Sir? Hello? Sir? Anyway, you do know I can walk right now. Man, I don't care about that. Just shut up. Hey, champ, what's taking so long, man? Oh, oh, get your ass in here. This here is little brother. Now I can probably withdraw from my pension. I mean, but it is gonna take some time. How long, little brother? I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, maybe 30 days? 30 days? That is not soon enough, boo-boo. I need to get my lap band surgery done before the time during a fantastic voyage. See, why are you tired? Oh, sorry, baby. Oh, God, okay? I told you. Hey, that's enough for you two over. Get over here. Kill him. Wait, hold on, hold on, Mr. Pettigrew. Give me 10 days. Daddy, him being dead is not going to give me back my money. If you want to kill him, at least wait till I got my 50000 back. Yeah, look. Look, I promise. I'll have your money. All right. 10 days. And that's it. And if you don't have all my baby girls, though, you a dead man. I'll have it all, Mr. Pettigrew. 
That's my word. I don't care what you do as long as I get my money back because I got this cute little two-piece bikini I need to squeeze into before the cruise. All right. Here's how it is. Stay with him. Lay low. And whatever you do, keep an eye out for Jacob. And I'll see you in 10 days with the dough. Oh. Uh -huh. And champ, let him know how serious I am. Thank you, Daddy. Anytime, baby girl. And although this death was certainly untimely, I want you to know that it was. Hell not no, they don't kill my final. brother D Block. We getting somebody, mama. Somebody dying. Hold on, hold on. We gonna get him. We gonna get him tonight, homie. Don't even worry about it. You think I'm scared, huh? Look at my eyes, man. I'm not scared of nothing, man. Look at the teardrops. Brother, brother, please, please, please. I'm, I'm trying to console the family, and so to the to the mother and to the family of Mr. Marion D. Johnson, affectionately known to his friends and set as D Block, and those over at the local correctional facility as. 678210. I leave you with these final words from the Apostle Paul. He says, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout and with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. <laughs> Amazing salary for a church that size, minister. I don't know, Bishop. That's just not the idea I had envisioned for my first pastorship. Not only are you getting an amazing salary, you're also getting a place to live, and most importantly, there are a lot of hungry souls down there. <laughs> They're in the midst of a famine. The entire town is probably hungry. That might be the case, but this is a very generous church. They give a gift to a needy family every seven years. They call it the Jubilee gift. I believe the last gift was for $50,000. A church that size can give that kind of money? Absolutely. Now, they're still interviewing candidates, but if you want it, Deacon Ashula will accept anybody that I recommend. Yes, uh, Deaconess. Hi, how do you do? This is the bishop. Yes, this is the bishop. Um, I'm sorry for calling you at such an ungodly hour like this, um, but I'm calling you. Uh, yes, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I've been, been a little bit under the weather. Kind of got kind of coming down with something. <coughs> okay, yes, but um, the reason for my call is um, I'm sending you a pastor to help lead your flock at your church. And um, uh, his name is Jacob McGee. Uh, very good looking guy. He's a Libra. Uh, nice skin tone. Okay, anyways, but that's beside the point. The point is, he'll be there in about two two days. He'll be there in two days. And um, if you could um, just treat him very nicely. And oh, oh speaking of which, um, I'm going out of the country. I'll be out of the country for about a month or so. 
And uh, if you could just, uh, you know, don't call me, I'll call you. And um, that's about it. And uh, don't forget, you treat Jacob nice. You treat him real good. And, um, and basically just treat him real nice and feel all his earthly desires. And um, that's about it. God bless you. Good night. Next. Look, Meg Muffin, come on, baby. Let me just get one more chance. Percy, I hate to hurt your feelings, but you just don't have it. And how many times can a man preach a trial sermon? I don't understand why we have to hold auditions when Bishop is sending somebody. These were already scheduled, and it would be unprofessional to cancel them now. Next. And before y'all even ask, I ain't married. Yes! Church, God is so good. He's such a deliverer. I know. I used to be racist, but I love all you niggas now. Next. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to speak of a sin we call lust. An infectious word, lust, and that's the third of the deadly sin. That's a mighty lewd craving. But I'm here to tell you, if lust lives in your life, it's time to get defecticated. Huh? And lust will make you salivate huh? or why you anticipate a chance to fornicate. Huh? I said lust will make you salivate huh? or why you anticipate a chance to fornicate. Huh? Whoa, Lord, whoa, Lord. The lust will have you cruising your own family reunion. Yes, I said it. And they call it watering down the blood. Have you up amongst fam thinking thoughts that's lewd. Like it's all right, because that's my third cousin once removed. Whoa, Lord, whoa, Lord. The lust. We have the most fabled gentlemen uh, are sinning against their women. I said the most fabled gentlemen uh, are sinning against their women. Uh, uh, have him at the hotel uh, for motel uh, or the motel for hotel. Uh, whoa, Lord. Next. But sister, I'm not done yet. No, I think you are done. Who are you? Jacob McGee. You ran in the bush, baby. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Is there any way I can get my check processed sooner? This is a life and death, no, this is a death only situation? Yes, McGee. What do you mean there's no application on file? What do you mean I need to resubmit the application? You know, you know what, can I speak to your supervisor? Hey, you got a toilet paper in here. You know what, I'll call back to speak to your supervisor. Um, okay, give me a second. I got something in the basement. Shit, man, that bastard. Wait till they leave. Owe me for all the food they eat up. Let's get this 
man some toilet paper. Say what? Man, you almost gave me a heart attack. What you doing, man? Shh, shh, shh. Look, what, what? hey, they fucked you up. No shit. Okay, look, I'm gonna get us out of here. Here's what we're gonna do. Who's upstairs? The big one, Cham. Okay, but right. he's on the toilet, he's by himself. Okay, cool. All right, what's gonna happen next? Oh, oh. <clears throat> over there on Woodworth, two blocks over, there's gonna be a white church van. I need you to go in there and wait for me. Man, why you leave me? Man, who gives a damn right now? That's not boring. Why don't you get the hell out of here? Man, hell no. We leaving together this time. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Gotta get Tiger Woods on that bitch, motherfucker. Let's roll. Let's go. Yo, wakey wakey, man. Let's go get some eat. Man, I still can't believe you left me with them killers, oh man. God, are you Murder. still on that shit? Man, hell yeah. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my bad. I didn't know they was gonna jack you up that bad. Man, they was gonna kill me. Okay, but they didn't. Besides, I saved your ass. Man, so when you gonna tell me what's going on with the church? About that. Hell no. Shh. Shh. Man, she's damn mind, man. What the hell wrong with you? Have you lost your damn mind? You can't hustle, God. Mama would be rolling over in her grave if she seen that, man. Well, you know what? It's better Mama rolls over in her grave than someone to roll our ass over there next to her. Jake, you cannot steal or take the church's money. That's blasphemy. I'm going to convince them to give me the money. Jacob, why would them good people give a crook like you their money? Because it's the Jubilee season, and we need that money. OK? I mean, I mean, think about it. We lost our home. We lost our mom. Who needs that money more than us? Well, hell, if you're the pastor, use your salary to pay Hiawatha back. Oh, hell, that's not enough, and we ain't got enough time, OK? We got to get that money to Hiawatha before he finds us. There you go again with that us and we stuff. Ain't no we. Ain't no us. Look, man, I can't do this without you. You could do it without me if you would have paid attention in Sunday school. Yeah. Look, I should do one damn thing, one damn thing. All right? You, you the child preacher prodigy, not me. I mean, and you know what? You even give me your own salary. You get your own salary. Jacob, I want you to listen to me very carefully. I am not taking these people's money. Do you understand what I'm saying? Get it out your head, man. I'm not taking these people's money. You know what? I did my homework. Well, well, yeah, yeah wow. I did my homework. You talking about, you so worried about the money? If Apostle McIntyre can convince people like that to give him $70 million for a jet, I know we can get our hands on 75 measly thousand dollars. Man, look, don't even get me started with that crap. Look, I ain't set foot in a church since the doctor announced Mama was terminal. And I highly doubt I ever will. Oh, you gonna be in a church, all right? <laughs> you gonna be in your church in a casket, looking at the roof of a damn church if he catches us. Look, I can't do this without you. We can do this, man. In fact, check this out. I even got my own prayer cloths. Man, these is cut up crown royal bags. Man, what the hell are you gonna do with this? Here, take this. I mean, damn, you gotta start somewhere. It's a work in progress. Look, man, you in or you out, man? I need your help on this. Mom would want us to work together on this. All I got to do is write your sermon and not get involved. That's it. That's it. On two conditions. One, we don't steal the money. We combine our salaries to pay Hiawatha back. And two, once we get enough money to pay him back, you'll end this con, scam, or whatever the hell you want to call it. All right, scout time. You got it. All right, come on, bring it in. Bring it in. Come, come on, on, let's go eat. Keep your damn hug, I don't care. Why, thank you, Deaconess. Um, I called this meeting of the board to announce that Cain here will be my associate pastor. Him? Pastor, that's not the way we do things around here. The board has to vote. Oh, really? So obviously this board wants to vote on whether or not you want to argue with the word of God. 
But let me tell you something. The Lord that I serve, who sits on high and looks down low, has sent me here to help this church. Thus says the Lord. You see, the other day I was lying in my bed and God spoke to me. He said, Jacob. I said, yes, Lord. He said, I'm sending you your errand. And I said, really, Lord? Who, who amongst us is my errand? He said, son, your brother Cain is your errand. And I'm sending him to help lead the people. So verily, verily, I say unto thee, you can either roll with us, or we can roll out right now. Y'all can be on your own. I don't care. Do it your way. Pastor. The next time, can you follow our protocol, please? Ask if you're uncertain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Let's get on to something more pressing. Like, uh, how was our money? Uh, I believe what my brother, um, the pastor, means is how healthy are the church's finances for us to administer the ministry in this area? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what he said. That's, did you see that? That's that, that's that Aaron just oozing out of him. I tell you, that's him. As treasurer of Bethel, oh my Church, damn, with the exception of paying salaries, <laughs> allowances, and utilities, we oh. are barely getting by. There is no surplus. If somebody would come up off some of that loot, we'd have a surplus. Keep your nose out of my purse, Melvin. I do more than my 10% around here. That's enough, folks. I've just bought new uniforms for that sorry excuse of a football team. Sister Roberta, please. please. You wouldn't let her say that. Wait, 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 wait. I, I know wait, you wait. ain't saying nothing about my boys being sorry. First of all, I ain't said nothing about that stink nasty soul food in the can Lewis made. Nasty. I think that's what killed him. That, I believe well, that. Well, you well, weren't well, saying well, that when your Fat butt was getting free samples from him because you no. said Esther couldn't cook. Oh, no, listen. He didn't you. marry me for my cooking. He married me because I got that snap back. You said I couldn't I mean, cook. Listen to me. I, I, I never what said anything about What do you mean I can't cook? You know what I'm exactly what is that? <laughs> Roberta was left with a fortune from her deceased husband's soul food in a can enterprise. They should have never made her treasure. The same mistake Jesus made turning the bag over to Judas. I'm not Judas, but I would gladly give somebody 30 pieces of silver to watch you hang. And you can't even spell bag, Melvin. No, nope, but I can spell heifer. Oh, spell that is spell. enough, enough. Oh, enough. Is I this the behavior we want to display in front of our new pastors? Don't let me stop you. Pastor, you gonna have to excuse my language, but sometimes in life, if you can't work with the niggas you want, on you got to work with the niggas you with. Oh, quiet, Percy. Well, since we're on the matter of finances, I'm afraid we won't be able to do the Jubilee gift this year. No Especially Jubilee. with times being so rough. No Jubilee. Jubilee. We, Jubilee. we have to. We can't just let Daddy's tradition fall by the wayside. Right. Oh. You think I want that? You heard, Roberta. We just don't have it. How large is that sum of money? It can run into thousands. Whoa. It's been a tradition our father, Bishop Warren, started over 35 years ago. But it's gonna take a miracle this year. Oh, no, it's not. We doing that. We need that. We Jubilee is happening. Uh, Sister Hope, uh, I need you to get on this one. Uh, I need you to give me a list of all the members of this church ASAP pronto. So right now, Operation Bless Me is by, uh, Bless a Family is in full effect. Y'all with me? All right, well, let's do this. Let's do this. Sister Lily, can you be a honey baked ham and come on down and join the rest of the Saints here on the front row, please? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, God bless your sweet potato heart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it has come to my attention that we have thieves amongst us. We have thieves in the temple. These people standing here before you have not paid their tithe and offering in over a month. He ain't lying. I see the book. And we cannot fly with the eagles 
when we got chickens, buzzards, and pheasants hanging amongst us. So verily, verily, I say unto thee, until you can pay your tithes and offerings, then y'all gonna say, don't hit ya with a good little split ya. Brother Walters, play some tablet music, would you please? It's time to go, it's time to go, it's time to go, time to go. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. Necessary. Hmm. Look, we could have just sent it to people who needed help financially instead of just assuming that they refused to tithe. That's right. <laughs> That's your new Sunday school teacher. <laughs> and you know what, Deaconess? I've heard those pipes on you. You can lead the choir. And I'm sure we can find a random crackhead out here with a set of tools. We can fix stuff around here. That way, the 20% can now do 100% of the ministry. That is not the way we run things around here. My father would have never done such a thing. With all due respect to the bishop, Deaconess, it's a new day. Like I said, you know, this whole church is in a situation it's in right now due to the disobedience of the peoples. In fact, this whole town is suffering because of it. And I really don't care if the whole town is trapped for cash. Uh, this church will not be. We have to teach them how to give. Well, I think I just taught them. I think they're figuring it out as they're walking through the parking lot. Pastor, this is the biggest offering since Bishop Warren was alive. Well, 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 well. Looky here, would you looky there at that? Think about the Jubilee Fund, Deaconess. Are you with me now? Of course I am. Pastor. All right. Sister Roberta. I would like to accompany you to the bank when you go to deposit this. Sure thing, Pastor. Uh, no, 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 no. We'll, I'll, I'll hold on to it. And, you know, when you come back, I'll give it to you. Okay? Sure thing, Pastor. All right. Yeah. You, what the, did you need me? No. Uh, yeah. Can you please contact each member from the church today that was excommunicated? Have them meet me here tomorrow evening at 6 p.m. Well, they better have their tithes and offering, because there's going to be a real show meeting if they do. No problem, Pastor. Call me Kane, please. You're trying to hit that, ain't you? Look, you done taking this too far. You, you want one of these? No, what are you doing? That's for communion. Man, have you tried these with hummus? This is some delicious stuff. I don't know, carry on. It's delicious. And why are you acting all Joe Osteen on me, man? Mm. What happened to old church hating Kane? What happened to him? I miss him. Look, that wasn't the sermon that I wrote. No, it wasn't. Uh, <laughs> I got that from him. Robbing God blind. Yeah. Taking back guys. Man, what is this garbage? This boy is bad. What are you talking about? You know that fire squad line? I got it from him. If you're gonna follow that false prophet, then why am I here? Because we're family. Isn't this what you wanted? No, this whole playing games with people's lives? No, I didn't sign up for that, Jay. Oh, but you ain't got no problem signing up for Hope's Draws, though, do you? Yeah, I see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna make it rain. <laughs> yes! Okay. All right. Hey, I'm going to head to the market. Can I show you anything? Oh, absolutely. Um, you need a uh, bottle of Hennessy and some of those extra large condoms. 
Oh, I'm just playing. I'm going to play. I'm a joker. I'm a nut. I'm trying to do your toes. <laughs> That's right. However, uh, if you can give me a jar that those pickle pick feet, that would be awesome. Okay. You are so unorthodox, Pastor. Here <laughs> they call me. Unorthodox Jacob. <laughs> Uh, Reverend uh, Pastor Jacob here. Hello? Yes. Sister Roberta, how are you doing? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so it's 10 o'clock's good for you? Oh, that sounds awesome. That sounds awesome. You know, I was thinking, um, perhaps after we go to the bank, um, we could go out and uh, maybe get something to eat afterwards. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm dying to try some of that soul food in the cave. <laughs> yeah. Huh? You say, what? You say it? So that's better for a dinner kind of thing, huh? Well, Sister Bird, are you trying to ask me out to dinner? <laughs> oh, that sounds really nice. Well, you know, hold on, hold on. Look here, I, I, I'll see you at the bank around 10, okay? Uh, I think Sister Hope's phone is ringing. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hello? Hey, Bishop. Good morning. How's it? What? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Hey, good morning, Deacon. Uh, uh, what brings you in this time of day? Is this something you want to tell me, Jacob? Because I just got off the phone with the bishop, and he asked me how our pastor search was going. Okay, Deacon, I'm going to be honest with you here. Uh, the bishop didn't send me per se. You don't say. No, I don't okay. do say. Um, in fact, he said everybody else except me. But I want you to know that the God of Abraham, Isaac, John, Paul, and Ringo, uh, he sent me here to help you out here. Uh, and just so you know, it's just like when Samson told Jesse to uh, anoint one of his Childs to be king, and he looked at every other one except that scrawny little kid, David. Well, I am that scrawny little kid. You know you'd have messed up, right? Nigga, that was Sammy. Have you even read the Bible before? I read the book on tape. And by the way, you about five chicken McNuggets away from being scrawny. Oh, I know your Section 8 grimace ass ain't talking. Everybody loves Jello. Sit down, Nick. Okay, so. So what did you tell him? I told the bishop. We found our new pastor. What's in it for you? You know how this works. I scratch your back. Now it's time for you to scratch my backs too. What do you want? I'm sick of teaching them geriatric women how to twerk. They got the whole room smelling like Bengay and Percocets. Well, that explains the Lane Bryant Nicki Minaj outfit you got on. This is Blaine Bryant, spring collection. Okay, and what else? One more little thing, Pastor. Small, small favor you can do for me, Pastor. Thanks everybody for coming out, and I will see you all Wednesday evening. Thank you so much, Pastor Kane. You know, I thought I was gonna have to turn in my car road. Oh, <laughs> oh, I went. Oh, oh, right. well, you're welcome, and you let us know if we can be of any assistance to you. <gasps> I will. I'm just so happy to be back in the house of the Lord. <laughs> Can't nobody do it like Jesus. Can't so was that nobody. it? Uh, no, Brother Earl was a no show. You know what? Can you get me his number? I'll follow up with him tomorrow. Oh, no problem. Um, so that was a, a beautiful thing you did for those folks. Nah, that was no big deal. You know, we got to take the time to see what's going on in the lives of the people, to reach the people. Well, that's true ministry. Tell me, how did you get your start at being a minister? Uh, I kind of just fell into it, I guess. So when you sent your calling, did you answer right away? Actually, it was a lot of kicking and screaming. A reluctant one, I see. Yeah, I guess you could say that. But uh, what's your story? Well, I would consider myself a reluctant servant as well. Really? How so? 
I mean, all I really wanted to do is get out of this place. And I was well on my way until after our father passed. Now it seems like it's near impossible. But, I mean, he left the church to Eula, and she makes me feel guilty every time I bring up the topic. But she acts like she, can, she can't do anything without me. And she was called to run this miserable place, not me. Well, you know, for somebody who wasn't called, I think you're doing a fine job. God sure knew what he was doing when he called you. You sure have a heart for people. Thank you. Did you? Oh, did you hear <laughs> Please, sir. Please don't kill me. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, wait, 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 sir. Don't, don't. Brother Earl. Sister Hope, you go on mind your business now. I don't want to get no blood on you when I splatter this jack leg fool preacher bowels all over this here office. No, 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 you want to do that. My bowels will be where they are. Look, uh, look, uh, uh, I wasn't myself. I wasn't myself. I needed a snicker. Look, it was, I was in the spirit. It wasn't my friend. It was... Brother Earl, you really don't want to do this. Oh, yeah, I do want to do it. In one day, this slew footed preacher that took my entire life from me. It's okay. He called a meeting tonight to apologize. I'm gonna apologize, I'm sorry. You damn right you sorry. The only meeting I care about is this bullet meeting your ass. Wait, 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 he's overzealous. And he's outraged. And anyone who steals from God. He shouldn't steal from me. That's what withholding your tithe means. Surely you taught this in Sunday school. This Sunday school is all I got. Okay. Well, look, 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 it's okay. You're back to being the Sunday school teacher. You're back. What else can we do for you? I don't have money to tie. He know that. Everybody know that. But look, 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 look. It's okay. We're working that out. Crops ain't came in. I can't, can't afford to feed my cattle. Hell, I can barely feed myself. I gotta go all the way down to Tupelo just to go to a food pantry. Look, look, look. I am willing to give you half of my salary. Nigga, what? I did not come here for no handout. Look, 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 look. look, look. It's not a handout. It is just a hand up, sir. Just until you get back on your feet. Come on. Come on, brother Earl. Just put the gun down. Come on, brother. Put it down. Come on. It's all right. Man, get the sheriff on the phone. The little sheriff coming trying to kill me. No, I ain't calling no one. Oh, I don't need to call nobody. I don't know the number one day. What you gonna do? Just continue to mess up people's lives? This money, this money isn't worth all this. Whatever, Gandhi. Get so private ass out here. You know what? I, I got a date tonight with a beautiful, sexy, rich widow. And if things go the way I want, we out here by the end of the week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you're not going to join me? No. <laughs> well, after dinner, I would love to discuss uh, this wonderful business opportunity that I got. Uh, I'm trying to bring strip balls to the surrounding area. Well, let me tell you something. These greens are off the <laughs> square, man. Why, thank you. You're welcome, man. Good Lord, he's a guy. Mm -hmm. You want to tell me what you need. You got to tell me what you need. Okay? That's my secret ingredient. Mm -hmm. well, that secret needs to be known. That's good. <laughs> have I mentioned that our sales have more than tripled since my husband's passing? Triple. Because of my secret ingredient. Triple, huh? <laughs> okay, all right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep a secret. <laughs> you want to tell us, huh? So this is a secret ingredient? No, 
This is my late husband. He is the secret ingredient. Oh, God. God. <laughs> I sprinkle his ashes over everything. Greens, black peas, yams. Oh, come on outside your damn mind. <laughs> he was nearly 400 pounds when he died. That man had ass for days. <laughs> I can sprinkle ass, I mean, ashes for decades. Woman, you are nutty than squirrel shit. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where are you going? <laughs> Good morning. It is time for the church announcements. Amen. I do want you to know that the board has introduced the new tithing campaign motto, and the title of it is, We Have Upped Our Contributions. Up yours. All right. Also, Sister Roberta called to say that she will not be here today because she's dealing with a personal family emergency. But she did want everyone to know she will be here to cook for the pastor's welcome gala. I'll be damned. I mean, the Lord will damn anyone who eats of uh, the forbidden fruit. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, uh, carry on, sister, please. Poor woman, still grieving, baby. She wants you all that know the words of prayer to please pray for her. Mm. And on another note, now, someone's been taking the church communion sets. Yes, it's come to our attention, and we need to know who the culprit is. If you know, call the church hotline, because certainly we don't want to go back to drinking wine again. The last time we did that, Brother Busby got picked up for a DUI. <laughs> Lord knows we don't want that to happen again. Anyway, that concludes our church announcements. Please govern yourself accordingly. Thank you so much. All right, okay. All right. <laughs> Happy Hanukkah, church. I mean, um, a good good morning. Uh, you know, the, the word of God is uh, is not a spectator sport. It, it, it's participatory, you know? And, and, um, and, and just like, think about on Sundays when you go home, you get some of your mamas, you know, big mamas, you know, aunties, a, a, a good chicken and gravy, you know, with the dark meat. And, you know, what do you do? Do you look at it? No, you, you get you some salt and pepper, you sprinkle that bad boy, and you go to town. So, so, so just like that, you know, with, when it comes to, to the word of God, when, when the man gives you some good word, you know, because it's delicious, you got, to, you got to put it on here, you got to come up here and sprinkle some, some, some Benjamins, some, some Franklins, and some Abrahams all over this pulpit, right? Amen. 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 You, you know what, church? Uh, Pastor, there's been some rumors going around saying that. Percy can't preach. Okay, well, you and you know what? You know when Percy heard that? When Percy was preaching. Ah! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Lastly, you know what? There's been some rumors about my sexuality going around. <laughs> but I'm a happily married man. It's just that sometimes I like to party. Oh! Oh! Go ahead, Percy. Have a seat. Taking my Bible. Uh, come with me. One more time for Deacon you know, Percy. Y'all ain't got to clap for me, because Percy clap for himself. Good job, Percy. You always can do what I do, Percy. Go oh, ahead, Percy. Sit down, Percy. You preach that for that fight. There ain't nobody that did that like Percy. Nobody. Well, who can argue with that? 
With that said, uh, I would like to speak to y'all and let y'all know the seed is the way to the kingdom. We here in Guntown find ourselves in the same predicament that the old widow in the Bible had. Yeah, talk to her, talk to her. She was poor. I'm talking about poor. I'm talking one Sunday away from home and poor. And that's when the prophet comes to her and he tells her he's hungry. And she says, I'm sorry, but I only have enough flour and oil for me and my babies. And she said, I'm going to use this flour and this oil to make a cake for me and my child as a last meal before we die. And that's when the prophet said, well, that's fine. You can go ahead, make your cake. You can go ahead and die. But before you do it, make me a cake first. Amen. No, I don't think you heard me. I said, make me a cake first. If you hear gun town want to end your situations, make me a cake first. If you want to stop the famine here, make me a cake first. If you want to get your child back on course, well, take it easy, bake oven, and make me a cake first. Amen. Come on up here. Bring your money. Bring your money. Amen. Let's make a cake. Let's make a cake. Come on. Let's make the cake. I'm going to write your name on this cake. I'm going to write your name on the cake. Yeah. yeah.
I, I, I someone wanted to talk to you. Hey, what's going on? I, I'm just, my disposal's backed up. Just well, here, I can help. I can help. Yep, let me take that. Just show me where it's at. It's right up there. I'm gonna go get out of these wet clothes. All right, well, here, take your time. I got this. Yeah, it looks like you just had a washer loose. Yeah, I'm finna tighten it up. Should've stopped the leaking. Hey! Who are you, little nuts? Uh, I'm Kane. I'm a friend of Hope's. Bo? Your man is home. Now get on this body. What? Your man? Uh, you must not be from around these parts. Because everybody, and I do mean everybody, knows that this has been my boo since high school. This is Kane. He, he's a minister at the church. Good. Maybe he can marry us. M marry you? Marry us. Oh, come on, make it on your knees, man. Surprise! Will you marry him? Oh, why you looking like that, baby? I came home to make you my wife, to move you to LA. And who is this? Oh, <laughs> that's just my assistant, Juan. <gasps> you know, I think I better get going. But it was nice to meet you, Bob. Call me Damien. Now get off my body. Damien? <laughs> Bo's really not a catchy name in LA. Okay, Damien. Uh, welcome home. And I hope to see you at church. <laughs> nah, I'm cool. You know, I really don't do the whole uh, Jesus thing anymore. But maybe you recognize me. I was in Hawk's Revenge as a stunt double, thrown out of a plane at the end of the movie. Now that you mention it, you did do a good job dying. <laughs> I told you, baby, go away. Let me know if you have any more issues with your disposal. Thanks so much. I I'll see you at church. Absolutely, Sister Hope. bitches in the next town. Do we have enough to pay our debt? Shown up, got enough. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be off this plantation this time next week. You know what? In fact, me and Percy, we about to head in this town to see Apostle McIntyre. You wanna roll with? I don't judge by that face, that's a no. In fact, I'm gonna say that's a hell no. But look, while I'm gone, chase us. Keep everything quiet, you know. No butt naked orgies. Until I get back. <laughs> Fuck you then. Father, I just don't know what the problem is that you got with me. But you've taken everything from me. My mama. Part time brother. Now, Hope, I mean, you're going to look out for me, huh? Yeah, but it's cool. Because I'm through. I'm done with all this. All of it. Surprised to see you here. You left us. Yeah, thank you. Congrats on your engagement, too. Seems like a real nice guy. And I see you finally leaving Guntown, too. <laughs> Listen, that was out of the blue. I haven't even talked to him in over a year. And I haven't seen him in much longer than that. Just make sure you let me know where you're registered. Well, I just stopped by to give you your jacket. You have a good evening, Pastor Payne. Yeah, you too. Yeah, you too.
How you doing, bro? How you doing? Uh, Pastor Jacob McGee here to see the apostle. You need a VIP pass to see the apostle. Right here, brother. Right here. <laughs> hmm. With discount books and tapes. Say VIP enough. What the hell are you talking about? Man, I just put a fat ass wad of cash in your old ashy ass hands. You gonna talk about it ain't VIP enough. Say what you want, it ain't fat enough. Percy, here, go, go to the car and get out the briefcase. VIP pass. Absolutely. Have a seat, gentlemen. Yes, yes. Uh, um, uh, hey, Apostle. Hey. Pastor Jacob McGee. Uh, this uh, swarthy young gentleman is, is my deacon, uh, Deacon Percy. Soon to be Pastor Percy, by the way. Uh, what can I do for you, gentlemen? Are you in need of a special healing? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I'm only a member of your organization. Let me get this straight. You want to be one of my sons in the gospel? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you see this cash right here? I raised that in a very short amount of time. And I did it in a real small church in the country. And, and, and put in the right situation, if I can do that there, I could probably raise 10 times that amount of money, probably even quicker. Hey, you know what? We just recently had a situation open up. Damn, IRS. Uh, but I'm gonna have to check you out in action first to see if you got what it takes to be a son of the apostle. I was kind of just hoping I could come to you. Oh, no, I don't need you to audition. I got to check you out under the bright lights. You know what? Our anniversary service yeah, 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 is yeah, coming yeah, up, coming up in, in a couple weeks, and yeah. the lights ain't going to be much brighter than that. Confident. I like that. Leave your contact information, and uh, somebody will get a hold of you. And if I'm booked, another VIP pass like this could just open up my schedule. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Appreciate you. Uh, look forward to hearing from you soon. All right. Oh, yeah, all right. Great to hear. All right. You know about the, the special healing she's yeah, talking yeah. about? Yeah, yeah. You, you got anything of a sexual kind? <laughs> you know uh, Percy, bring your ass. Uh, Both of them. Let's see what I can do. Oh, okay. your time for that. Right. Hey. We did it, Percy. We did it. You know what? You know what? If this goes without playing, you about to be the new pastor of Bethel. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, this is our ginger. Hey, Percy, what's up? Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, congregation, please have a seat. Is there anyone else amongst you who feels that they need a healing? Please come forth now. I do pastor. Amen. You do pastor. Amen. Well, come on down. Make your way down, brother. Come on, y'all. Give it to him. Amen. Come on down, brother. Come on down. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. yes um, Brother, thank you for coming down here. You look rather healthy other than you're in this chair. Explain to us, what is your ailment? I have a tumor. You have a tumor. Well, let me say to you that there is no tumor so big, so disgusting, that God, who sits on high and look down below, yes. cannot heal. Yes. Amen. Amen. Say that again. Amen. But it's gonna cost you. Uh, okay. Okay, so how much is the tumor, uh, Brother Percy? Let me see right here. It's, uh, uh, you know, Pastor, that's a Salamis Temple. Ooh, a Salamis Temple. All right. All right. A Salamis Temple. Yeah, we got a Salamis Temple. Come on. Yeah, we got a Salamis Temple. All right. Okay. Do you have a Salamis Temple funded? Go ahead. All right, all right. Okay, okay, all right. Okay, 
Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Uh, I trust you, but yet I don't. Count that for me, person. Okay, I'm right. Where on your body is this foul devilish of a tumor? Hold on a second, Pastor. I want to show you. It's, it's kind of heavy. Oh, well, all right. And it, it, and it itches. Oh, my God. Oh, my damn. Uh, it's heavy. It itches. Pastor, I, I need your healing. I told you, you're the best in this state. Percy, that's going to be on you. No. Come on. Um, no, 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 I, I need the healing, Lord. This is your opportunity to, to, to show your pastoral skills. No, no, no. Come on. I'm tired of cutting holes in my underwear. You, you look. I need to teabag my wife without giving her a concussion. You know, I need to be able to sit on the toilet, right? But you see, see, I'm losing my bowels right now. You need to be on the toilet. Get them hands at work. Oh, I don't know. Dip my hands in the lava. I don't want to do it. Well, I need to be able to sit on the toilet while I'm getting stuck. I'm not going to touch him. No. I'm not going to touch him. Oh, my God. There you go, baby. No, no, no. no. We ain't touching him. Oh, my God. Touch him. That's all we got. Come on, Lord. Help me, baby. I'm not going to die. Come on. Come on. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. The way you poke it. Oh, yes. You do? Oh, oh my God. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, yes. You are blessed, Pastor. Thank you. And they say Hollywood is weird. You want to see me? Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on in, bro. Come on in. Come on in. Hey, can you give us a minute or two? All right. Thanks a lot. Come on. Come on in, bro. Let me talk to you a minute. Ah. Let me talk to you about. Hey, what are you doing? You can't just treat the Bible like that. Oh, boy, bye. Everybody know Jesus is coming back. Look, we have a real special guest coming to Anniversary Sunday. If it ain't Hiawatha coming to get his money, I don't care. Oh, hell no, ain't no Hiawatha. Look. I just need you to write me the best sermon you got. I'm talking about the best one you got. And, and I need it ASAP. That way I can learn it and be able to recite it for this Sunday. I don't have it in me, Jake. I'm just not feeling it anymore. Plus, you don't use them anyway. What you feel like sitting here in Mayberry for the rest of your life? Hold on, you said we was out of here next week. We are out of here. It just won't be next week. What? Man, look, I need you to get your little head out of this little puppy love funk that you be in right now, because I got a plan B. And my plan B, hey, now if my plan B works, not only are we leaving this place, but we're going to leave the staff. We're leaving rich. All right, man. That's what I'm talking about. But don't get to switching up on me again. Give me a couple days, man. I'll have it for you. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, bro. That's what I'm talking about. I'm just ready to go home, man. Well, what do you just do what I say you do? You get the sermon, and we out of here. We sitting pretty, buddy. <laughs> oh, hey, Pastor, can you? Good morning. Hey, good morning. Uh, Lee Young called. He said that his mother is sick, and he wants to know if he can come by and pray for her. You know what? Go ahead and get that to Jacob. Pastor Jacob? Really? Yeah, he's a pastor. It's his job. Well, you know, he's just going to tell me to give it to you because he's busy tending to the word and prayer. Well, now he can tend to that. You have need. God sure knew what he was doing when he called you. You sure have a heart for people. That was rude of me, and I'm sorry, but I can't go see Mrs. Young. That's fine. I'll go pray for her on my lunch break. You know, I need to apologize to you for the way I've been behaving towards you lately. Hope I think you're an incredible woman, and I sincerely wish you the best out in L.A. Thanks, but... I'm not going to LA. You're not? No. I'm not I'm not marrying him. 
wow, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you're not sorry. Well, of course I'm not. I mean, look at me, I'm ecstatic. Of course I'm not sorry. Well, I mean, the more I thought about it, the more I realized that's not what I wanted. I mean, I want to, I love what we're doing here out in Guntown and I want to continue this good work with you. You know, hey, I think I, I think I do want to go to Mrs. Young's with you. If you don't mind your prayer partner tagging along, that is. I love that. found him, boss. Looks like somebody spent a lot of my dough buying some jewelry. Champ, gas up the hog. We're gonna take a road trip across state lines. Gotcha. Man, Percy, <laughs> I'm on my way to the top. Hey man, all I'm saying is you better not forget about me. All right? I done put in work, all right? No, maybe I have to come back and persecute you. I'm a man of my word. Anything I say I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do. All right. When I lead, you will be the pastor. I like that, man. All right. I can see that now. Deacon Pastor Percy. Can't get a ring to it, don't it? It sure do. I've been waiting yeah. my whole life for this, man. Yeah. Oh, snap! What? Man, you ain't see that? We up the creek now, man. What? That's the fish ship back there. Where? Changing that tire. Okay, okay, just calm down. Chill, chill. Just pull over. I got a plan. I got a plan. Hey, brother. Everything all right? Yes, sir. Everything's fixed. Okay, you sure? Yes, sir. All right, well, then maybe you can help me out. I'm trying to find a location of this clinic. Uh, between you and me, I gotta get the drips. Oh, my goodness. Yes, a bad case. Yeah, uh, if you can just tell me how to get there. I'm not from around. No! Oh, okay. Oh, well, you around now. Uh, hey, get his feet, get his hands, get his ass in the trunk. We gotta go. Man, we done did it now. We done kidnapped the bishop, man. Don't you bitch ass gonna be quiet. <laughs> you look gonna kill me, man. She's not gonna know. Okay, just be cool. She will never find out. You will find out everything, man. I, I can't go to jail. I'm too cuddly. Yeah. They too cuddly, me, and I can't fight. I'm gonna end up somebody's bitch, and I'm gonna have to put on all that Kool-Aid makeup again. Uh, again? Pause. Hold up. What did you put on the first time? No, don't answer that. I don't. I, I don't even want to know. Look, do you want to pass or not? Hell yes, I want to be the pastor. Okay, then you got to stick to the plan. The plan? What is the plan? For the 18th freaking time, we're gonna keep his old ass locked up in the basement. Soon as the anniversary Sunday's over, we're gonna put him in the trunk, we're gonna drive him across the state line. By the time anybody finds him, I'm the new apostle's protege, and you're the new pastor. It's as simple as that. Are you sure this is gonna work? Yes, if you don't mess up, it's gonna be perfect, okay? You know what I want you to do? It's very simple. I want you tomorrow, I want you to call around and find the best hotel and give me the best room. The hotel? No, I want you to get us the Hojo Deluxe, okay? And then I'm gonna go to the bank and I'm gonna get another VIP pass out. And after that, We'll be home free. That's it. Okay? Home free. Man, this is too much stress on my oh, body, here man. Here we go. The asthma's is acting up again. Okay, I can't, yeah, here I here can't here breathe. Here. <gasps> Cut my shirt. Cut my shirt, Jacob. <laughs> Cut my shirt. Bitch, you healed. I need you to go on downstairs and go ahead and feed the man and, okay. you know, take care of that. Don't forget to wear your mask. Okay. And where the hell is your other sock? You told me the blindfold. You put your nasty ass sock on that man's face? Too? 
what the hell? Hold on. Hold on. I'm coming. I'm coming. What's all the fuss, Deaconess? Oh, look, I just got off the phone with Sister Horton. She said Bishop was on his way here, but he never showed up. Oh, well, what was he on his way here for? Well, I invited him to the anniversary service. I wanted to surprise you, but, oh. but he hasn't showed up yet. You want to surprise me, huh? <laughs> well, I'm surprised. Well, what is that smell? <clears throat> oh, 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 that's my, that's my new asthma medicine. It's, um... Primate Miss Herbal. It's a good one. It's real good. Oh, my goodness. <coughs> That's a cure? Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, absolutely. It's, it's giving me a case of asthma. Give me some milk. <coughs> what was that? Who was what? I didn't hear nothing. You hear something? No, oh, you, you believe me or you're lying oh, here? Yes, it's coming oh, from the You don't want to go down there. It's probably those rats. We got rats down there. Yeah. Rats? Big, you get big, rats? Big old country rats. Rats? Right? We got rats? You know about those big country rats that we got down there. Oh, 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 rats! That's right. Yeah, big, 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 oh, yeah, big Jesus, nasty. We need to do nasty. something about that. You know, we always gonna do. In fact, Percy's gonna come by tomorrow and yeah, get some I'm traps. Go, what? I ain't going there. What? Oh, yeah, oh, oh! oh. Gonna handle the two to four, baby. I got, we can't play you, okay? Oh, that's well, right. that's right. We better be going. Okay. Listen, you know, sister has been calling him all day, and he will not pick up his phone. You just need to rest. Go home, relax. Trust me, it's gonna be fine, okay? Sometimes the bitch likes to take little journeys out by itself to the woods and pray and fast and camp by itself. You know, he used to try to take me with him, but I, I had to stop going because he likes to sleep in those tight Eddie Long t-shirts. I had to let it go. So, but don't worry, go home, relax. Trust me, he's probably closer than you think, okay? <laughs> all right. Okay, Pastor. All right, all right. I do feel a little better. I'm since glad you, you do. He goes off to be with the Lord. Sometimes. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah. Go on somewhere right. and relax. Right. Where's we right. going? We're going to get you some milk and your cognac. You're going to be all right, baby. No, no, no. All right, all right. Hey, hey, you. You. You better take her home and give her a little something. And judging by your physique, I know it's a little something. But look, take her home and get her mind off this, no matter what. Okay, I don't want to hear it. Just, just, just do it. You don't blow this. Get on out of here. I mean, like it's like like a sister in the Lord, Amen, Hallelujah, kind of love. Oh, love like that philos kind of love. Yes, yes, oh. exact, exact philos. Mm -hmm. That was the word I was looking for. Mm. Well, that's too bad, my brother, because I was kind of feeling that arrows kind of love for you. <laughs> it was the arrows, huh? You know, it was crazy that you use that that word. Did I say Philos? You know how long I've been waiting to tell you this? Kane, what's wrong? <laughs> we need to talk. Well, can you, I mean, can you give me a second? I'm in, kind of in the middle of something. Yeah, damn that, we gotta talk right now. Look, okay, later, sister, he'll call you, maybe. We gotta go, let's go. Get your ass in here. What's the problem? We gotta go. Hi, Wapa. He found us. So? We got the money we owe him, don't we? <laughs> About that. Um, we had the money. Here we go. Hey. What you mean we had the money? Okay, heads Where's the money? Damn it, Kane, we ain't got time to talk about this right now. We gotta go, okay? We gotta go. We gotta get out of here. What the hell? I can't leave. I can't leave, Jay. Yeah, what do you mean you can't leave? Your ass been trying to leave since you got here. Look, she loves me, and I'm not gonna leave her, man. You love her. You know that's wonderful. She, you know, she's just in time. She's just in time for you to get married so she can become your damn widow. Hi, Wapa's gonna kill you, Kane. 
I'm tired of running. And I'm tired of doing what everybody else wants me to do. Okay, fair enough. I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna do. One, you're gonna snap out of this. Then you're gonna get your ass up out of that chair and you're gonna roll with me. Cause we're all we got. And mom wouldn't want us to be apart. So let's go. Can I at least say goodbye? We got a damn time for goodbye. Let's get out of here, come on. Come on. It's your fault in the first place. Yeah, I know it is. Man, I can't believe you gave our money to that thief, man. The hell's wrong with you? Look, bro, I'm trying to go legit, okay? You? <laughs> legit. Really? Yeah, stop. Hey, what the hell does that mean? Hmm? Legit? You want you the only one to be legit? Mama's little choir boy, little goody two-shoe ass, the only person going to be legit? Yeah, whatever, man. You know what? You're right. Whatever. All I got to do is just get to Georgia. Once I get there, if I can just convince them to give me another shot, we'll be fine. Yeah, well, you better hope so, because you're on your own from now on. I'm not writing no more of your sermons. I don't need you to write me a damn thing. You know what? If I can convince all those Bible-thumping, holy rollers, I can damn sure convince him. And how do you think you're going to manage to do that? You're going to preach this man's message to him? Well, I didn't really think that far yet, but I'll get it. When time fails, I'll figure it out. I got to piss. I ain't got time for this. When time prevails, I'll figure it out. You know, my own business. If I want your opinion, I'll give it to you. I thought you gave away our money. About that. Um, okay, I ain't gonna front. I ain't front no more. I'm all done with that. Look, look. That's not our money. That's the Jubilee Fund. Legit? So your idea legit is kidnapping a pastor, stealing the church's money, then turning it right over to another crook? That's your idea going legit? I mean, well, when you put it that way, it sounds really bad. A joke, man. If you was on life support, I'd pull the plug just to charge up my phone. Oh hell! You know what? You know what, Kane? You go to hell. In fact, you go to hell and die in that order. See there? I'm trying to do something that I feel I can make Mama proud of me for. Man, it's too late. Mama is dead. Man, I'm a, I'm a man. You what? You mad I'm now? Man. You mad? You the one said it. I didn't say nothing. You mean out no damn where? We family. Man, I don't want to hear that. I ain't nothing to you, and neither was mama. And it's because of you, man. I couldn't even afford to give her a decent burial. I don't want, I, I don't, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear this, man. I don't want to hear this all. But look at you, man. You, you ruined mama's life? Now you ruining mine? I ain't ruined nobody's damn life. I try to give mama a better life for her and you. How? By making her go broke? Blood don't make family. I'm out, man. You, you, you ain't up with this damn money. That's I'm, damn I'm, sure. I'm taking it back. No, I'm taking it back. You back. son of a bitch. No, you didn't. Yeah, I sure did. Get me in my shit. <sighs> I'm taking it. I'm taking it back. Only thing you gonna take is this ass. You ain't gonna take the damn money. Let me go. Hey, this my boy. Hey. What are you talking about? What's going on? Hey, pastor. Hey, hey is deputy. Everything all right? Well, what you have here? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm casting out an extremely rare demon. He's, he's, yeah, you can see. I got cast. You need some help? Oh hell no, 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 no. Demons' lives matter, and it's a very rare demon. Um, only way you cast them out is through um, uh, 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 fasting and prayer. Uh, so have you have you fast today? Oh, you know you gotta be able to fast them out. You been fasting? Oh, you better get your little white ass out of here. This demon, he he loves, uh, he loves uh, white. Deputies! See? He was Boy, 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 but you just go, you, you want to continue fighting me? What you want? No, man, come on. Take, take, take the damn money. Yeah. I don't need the money, and I sure as hell don't need your black ass. I don't need you neither. But you might need this. <laughs> so long, Matosela!
I knew there was something fishy about him. That boy is greasier than a filling station mop. He got me drunk and tried to seduce me. Then that devil tried to steal my late husband's recipes. The nerve of some people trying to take advantage of a grieving widow. Besides hoodwinking us, me in particular, and kidnapping Bishop. Are you sure you're going to be okay, Bishop? Slight headache, Deaconess. I'm gonna be all right. Percy, I cannot believe you struck me. But Jacob made me do it, Bishop. Sister Hope, please take Bishop to lie down. And you should be glad Bishop isn't pressing charges against you. Yeah, because this chunky butt wouldn't survive in jail. <laughs> Not with those hips. <laughs> Please, this is no laughing matter. <laughs> well, why did that pudgy thug have to hit Bishop like that? As I was saying, Mr. McGee has also stolen our Jubilee gift. I told you, Sister Hope, you should let me shoot that fool when I had a chance. Brother Earl, we're not going to point any fingers. If anybody is to blame, it's me. I should have consulted Bishop sooner about him. What are you doing here? Get that two-time and thief mouth and get it! No, no, we will not resort to violence. Look, Mr. McGee, I've called the sheriff. I just need a moment to explain. Please, I'm so sorry about what my brother did, and I tried to get you your money back, but I didn't know anything about what was going on, and I had nothing to do with the kidnapping. Yeah, he's, he's telling the truth. But I am guilty of one thing, <laughs> and that's misleading all of you. I knew my brother wasn't a pastor, but we were in deep trouble with some really dangerous people. And for that, I'm so sorry. You need them eyes swollen shut. Sister That's Esther, we will do no such thing. Yeah, let God deal with the liar. I will have to deal with God's judgment. Nothing he can do will hurt me more than knowing what I've done to the only people that I love. <laughs> you know, you all were my family, and I'm so sorry. All I wanted to do was earn the money, not steal it. Just enough to pay my brother's debt, that's all. I just ask for all of you guys' forgiveness. And I promise you, I will get back every dollar my brother took from me. I swear. You ain't too good with keeping promises, little brother. You people got to get in line. See, he owes me a whole lot of money. And my man Champ here is real anxious to get his hands on you and your brother. I got an ass rash because of you. Wait till I get a hold of your brother. He put a mean whooping on the chin. Look, Mr. Pettigrew, that debt isn't mine, so I'm not paying it. Look, if you want your money, you're gonna have to find Jacob and take it up with him. And also, I'd like my $12,000 back. <laughs> <laughs> you look like little brother grown up here. <laughs> Kill him. Oh, God. Oh, God. You stop right there. No, you stop, country boy. Uh, how much, how much the boy owe? Too much for you, farmer. I got money. More money than I'd have if it wasn't for this man of God. Thanks, Brother Earl, but I'm not the man of God that you think I am. You know, your fortune was only due to your faith. Look, Mr. Pettigrew, you do what you gotta do. All I ask is that you not do it here. Not in front of these people. <sighs> Let's go. Kill them all. I said he ain't going nowhere. Whoa! There go that insensitive widow rapist. Rapist? Come on, you the crazy deranged chick serving your dead husband to people. I come to your house thinking I'd have a dinner. I didn't realize man which was on the menu. He's crazy. I see you still have little brother cleaning up your mess. Ho oh. ho! Uh, Jesus, it seems like we may have made a, a, a wrong turn in Albuquerque. Uh, let's get on the bottom, you know? No, no, no. Look at my big break. Look, Mr. Hotwater, I don't have your money, okay? Give me another chance and I will get your money for you, okay? It's too late. 
little brother's responsible for the debt now. <laughs> I ain't gonna let you do that. Stop. How much? How much does he owe? You sit down, baby, he'd kill her. You know, you all can mortgage this whole church and it still won't be enough to cover the interest. This may be an old church, but the roof is still intact. Uh, pardon my manner, sister. Now the sheriff is on the way. I would hate for it to appear that you're extorting us. How much does he owe? Well, considering the interest. No, no interest. <laughs> 50 G's. What, I gave you 12,000? And that case down there at Mr. McGee's seat is $30,000. Money for our Jubilee gift. Take that and consider the rest your gift unto the Lord. You do tithe, Mr. Pettigrew. <laughs> I do now. Hi, right, Walter. Uh, Bishop, Bishop Boyman. What are you doing here messing with these people? This is really not what you think. I'm just here to get a little religion. All the way out of the state? Does my son know that you're down here? I didn't think it was necessary to let my probation officer know that I was coming down here to drop off this sizable donation uh, to this fine church. Jenkins, do I need to call my son? Oh, no. <laughs> No, that won't be necessary, Bishop. Thank you for your donation, sir. Uh, my, my, my pleasure, sister. Uh, and Bishop, I want you to know I'm an honest businessman now. Uh, I sell dolls and dildos. <laughs> really? What? A grown woman can't collect dolls? <sighs> that was insane. Thank you so much, Deaconess. I couldn't have lived with myself if we would have let that man hurt you and we could have prevented it. Came back. That's what family do. Guess so. Thanks, man. Okay, all right, all right. I think you cracked the rib. Oh, my fault, man. I'm sorry, man. It's okay. I probably deserve it. Yeah. That's not all you deserve. Get him. Hey, what you talking about getting him, Earl? You better take your seat, Earl. Hey, Earl, come on now, man. Think about it. Who helped you get your farm up and going like it used to be? I did that for your farm. That's due to your brother. No, no, we gotta go, okay. Well, look at the church. Look at all the abundance life that we're starting to live because of the work that I've done. That's due to your brother, too. Deaconess, the, the, the windows of heaven have opened up and are raining down blessings on this whole town, and that's because of me. Jacob McGee, all you did was worship money. Oh, not the only thing I ever did. I took your dry, snitching, crybaby-ass, non-preaching-ass husband and taught him how to preach. And I tell you right now, if I go down, it won't be alone. You the baby. I can't go to jail. I'm way too voluptuous. Oh my God, go get him, please. I'm already on it. Come on, Jake. Don't do this. Hey, I'm not going down by myself, Kane. Bet I don't, bet I don't. See, what you fail to realize is that Bishop isn't pressing charges for the kidnapping. So poor Percy won't be joining you. And when the sheriff gets here, I can tell him you stole 1,200 as opposed to 30,000. You do the math, but you have to go down. A man like you can't continue conning innocent people. Do we have a deal? And if not, you and your brother can go to jail for the 30,000. Okay, we have a deal, just leave my brother out of it. <laughs> But, Deaconess, we still need a pastor. Deaconess, it appears to me that the congregants here are just so blessed and so happy with the turnaround of the church and the turnaround of this town. And that has been done by this young man right here. Hmm. Bishop? Is that an amen for him to be our pastor? Just look around. If you agree to pastor the church, you don't have to worry about the bunny. I'll do it on one condition. Oh, so now you have conditions? Stay focused and do me the honor of being my first lady.
I love what we've been doing here and I couldn't continue to do it without you. Just don't ever deceive me again. I promise. Now we don't have any ex-boyfriends I need to worry about, do we? No, silly. that I was out there, I was being a crook, being a con artist, like most of you. You wanna be down to the VR and not get no tips? Don't tell the person told you how to work. All right, now come on, drop it, drop it. Come on, put your back into it, put your back into it, put your back into it. Such black shoes since the eighty. <laughs> All right, well then maybe you can help me out. Okay. I'm trying to find a location to this uh this clinic. Okay. I got I got I got the drips real bad. I mean, oh, burning and everything. Goodness. Yeah. Uh if you can just tell me how to get there. I'm not from around. Oh, okay. All right. Uh get his feet, get his hands, get his ass in the trunk. We gotta go. Yo. Go swag. Open arms and open doors. He's with